Hey guys, welcome back to the readings. Thank you, thank you for being here today. Um, thank you so much for supporting me, guys. I really appreciate that. Spirit has me wanting to do divine masculine readings today, which I'm here for. I, I, I kind of like it. I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Um, we'll see what's going on with the divine masculine collectives right now. Um, Holy Spirit, please help. Ooh, help me channel messages of love and light for the divine masculine collective. Wow, instantly I got a migraine, a migraine from hell. You know, it, it felt like sudden dehydration. So some of you might need to drink more water, but I am getting something about the third eye right now. 33 on the clock, 33 seconds, the third eye. I feel like you guys might be decalcifying your pineal gland. So stay the fuck away from fluoride <laughs> as much as possible. Uh, no, don't put that shit in your toothpaste. Figure out your life. Uh, as for the water, get like a fluoride-free pitcher if you can, you know, whatever. I mean, don't go, you don't have to be, guys, you don't have to go crazy about it. Like, you know, but I mean, that shit's from the devil, all right? Let's admit that, okay? So anyway, Divine Masculines, I heard welcome to the wake up. I heard spirit just tapped you on your shoulder. Some of you could have even had like a physical sensation of being touched recently. Huh. This card reflection i don't know why but i'm seeing like this spirit back here touching you on your back or your shoulder somebody could have just had a spirit guide i heard leap into action they're tapping you on your shoulder calling your number whoa whoa okay divine masculines this is this is no joke no wonder i was told to get up get dressed and do these readings today <laughs> i was in my pajamas don't judge me but i was watching 90 day fiance leave me alone that's what I wanted. Look, look, Will. I wanted spirit to leave me alone. I was like, no, no, no. And then they're like, nah, bitch, you will change because you are going to change your clothes and you will do this. <laughs> yeah, so I had to like actually look presentable from here on up. I'm still in my boxer stone judge. Look, you guys have been called to end action. Something big is taking place on the planet right now. I don't fucking know. All you have to do is turn on CNN and you can find out. Okay. And Spirit's like, we're tired of watching you sit your happy hiney back and do nothing. Absolutely nothing. So we're done. We're done and we're calling you. We're calling you. Freedom. We're calling you to freedom. Fight for freedom. Freedom isn't free. Holy shit, what is going on, guys? This is given like America 1776 vibes. Which, I don't know if you guys know this, but Pluto, Pluto, re Pluto return goes um, every... Two, wait, 200 and some years or something. I don't know. I don't know how many years, but a Pluto return is when an entire country, a nation is under judgment by Pluto, right? The planet of transformation, death, um, the underworld, right? America is, is going through their Pluto, our Pluto return right now. And if you guys know anything about that, the last time that happened, was 1776 the day the uh the year that our country was founded uh, and freed well, i don't know i don't know much about it okay all i know is like somebody sailed on a boat and came here and then we were like hey we need to claim freedom point is you guys are supposed to be doing something where you feel free and liberated to do what you want to do and it's all possible my love all of it's possible 100 percent every single idea that you have in your heart is there because god put it there it's not there. How did you get it then? How did you get that desire? Where did it come from? That yearning, that need, that desire to either know something, do something, speak about something. Where did it fucking come from? So you guys have been tapped on the shoulder and spirit's like, okay, your time is up. Here it is. Sovereignty. It's time. It's time to reclaim your freedom and your sovereignty, right? Because God's people need you. They need you. Divine masculine, it is time. Nourishment. Again, with the water, please drink more water. I'm also getting um, something about like the path. Wow, the path. We have the number seven, eight. You might be eating a lot of fruits and vegetables right now, like grapes or something. I heard that lyric, let's be alone together. Mars energy action here on the, let's be alone together on top of the world. I can't think of what, the lyric I keep hearing is, let's be alone together. Release. What's this release card here? 
The moon. Seven of cups. You guys can't figure out how you're supposed to be with someone. You can't figure out how you're supposed to do something with someone. Like you can't see the, you can't see the way forward with them. It's like it's too murky. The moon and the seven of cups. It's like you're like you're like yeah I've got this desire and it's there and it's burning and yearning. I'm here and somebody somebody wants somebody. It could be a cancer here, cancer sun, or a cancer rising. You want something and it wants you. It desires you to find masculine. But it's like, it's like you don't see the way forward. What's blocking the masculine? Hierophant. There could be somebody like in your ear who's telling you the path you're about to take is the wrong turn. I'm hearing if they've been in your life for like five years or five months or f five, I'm seeing five, five, five on the clock. Five too long because it's Hierophant. Oh, that's why the number five. I saw 555 on the clock and the higher font is the number five. So if they've been in your life for like five years, five months, something like that, the fives represent change in tarot. So I'm telling you, this is like, don't listen to them. Listen to me. Your favorite tarot reader on YouTube, throwing cards and throwing card stock and pretending to know her shit. So please don't listen to this higher font. Whoever the fuck is barking orders at you and telling you, I don't think you should do that. I don't think you should do that. They're wrong. They're wrong. Just because they have a following, just because they have, look, King of Pentacles, the Magician, the Seven of Swords. I feel like whoever this person is, they're trying to tell you that, like, magic is wrong. Manifestation's wrong, something like that. King of Pentacles. Like, you, like you can stay in your comfort zone. You don't really need to do anything more to build an empire. You already have an empire, Divine Masculine. That's what I'm getting here with the King of Pentacles. Like, you already have established something, so you don't need to really rock the boat. Mm-hmm. What's the Seven of Swords? Judgment, yeah. This person thinks that you're making a bad judgment call, and they're going to be telling you that. Five of Swords. Somebody very soon is going to be telling you that if you move forward, it's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. But I heard fatigue, brain fog, something about like this person complains a lot about like not having a lot of energy or some shit like that. That should tell you everything you need to know I just heard. They have no stamina, no, no energy, no, no forward movement, no forward progress. Again, cancer energy here. Mother of, <laughs> oh my God, mother of pentacles. I heard, I heard, okay, this is not gonna be for everybody, but no, I'm not saying that. Never mind. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I heard. Um, it doesn't matter what you hear, Divine Masculine. Tune it all out. I don't care if you've known this person 20 years. You need to tune it out. Nine of Pentacles. I think that you're very independent right now, doing really well for yourself, secure, self-sufficient, at least self-sufficient, right? But then there's like somebody who's trying to, I don't know... I don't, the fool in reverse trying to get you to not want to take this leap forward. They don't like you out of your comfort zone because it forces them to look at the fact that they don't have, they have a comfort zone and they're stuck in it. So what do you need to know about this? What's the advice here, spirit? Two of swords, you need to make your decision. You need to make a decision and say it out loud. Not necessarily to this person, this hierophant. Because I feel like whoever this hierophant is, they do have some level of authority, okay? Oh, the emperor. They definitely have authority. Wow, that was crazy. And then we have the father of cups. This is given patriarchal kind of, guys. But this emperor here, they definitely have authority. But that authority, that reign is about to end. Death here. Five of Pentacles, Father of Swords. Because God is coming down on them, and I'll tell you why. Because they're trying to make people not successful. They're trying to make codependent. They're trying to make codependent followers. Codependent, yeah, codependent people on them is what I'm hearing. They want people codependent on them. I heard they don't like that you're saucy. That you you snap back. You you fight back. You say things. You say things like you say whatever you want to say. You look however you want to look. Dress how you want to. They don't like that. Because I'm hearing you might give, be giving people the wrong idea. That that, that, that that that's okay that that's okay you're allowed to do that like w no we don't allow that here i don't know what the hell's going on what is this a cult the fuck did i tune into father cups the emperor again father of swords so i'm definitely getting a masculine energy is about to tell you 
don't do this, it's stupid. I can't believe you would fall for those tricks of the devil or some shit like that. What exactly is the trick of the devil here, spirit? What is this? Seven of Pentacles in reverse, five of Pentacles, two of Cups in reverse. This is like you're calling somebody out on speaking death over their life. But not only this Hierophant's life, this person is a leader. But masculine, what I'm getting is they're actually speaking death over everybody's life in this group. And I don't think you can sit there and watch it anymore. This might be at work, somebody at work. Heard the name Tabitha. Five of Pentacles, seven of Pentacles. This person is so depressing. And it's like you're the first one awake in this crowd. You're the first one to stand up and say something. So you're being really challenged right now. Um, like the devil himself is testing you right now. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. What's this? Two of Cups, the Sun. I feel like you guys have a really hard time expressing feelings in front of this Hierophant. Like, like when you're happy and in love or you're happy about God or something, like I feel as soon as you go to express that you're happy? I don't know. This person does something. What's the Hierophant do here? Tower. Justice. They make sure you don't get to have a following. That people won't follow you out of there. They make sure to nip that in the bud real fast. We have um, Sagittarius, Libra, and... Oh, I did not mean to say in Sag. I didn't say, mean to say that. Leo, Libra, Scorpio. But yeah, it could be a Sagittarius. This person is like really um, mean. It's like a cult leader, guys. You might not know it's a cult leader. You might not know it or look, it might not look it because they have like 10 followers or some shit. But this is, this is, yeah, it's obvious. The fool. Like, I feel like a lot of the Ace of Swords, it's obvious. It is, it is the truth. It is the truth. This Hierophant, Ace of Cups, has a lot of people that are naive following them. Hook, line, and sinker. The Empress here, High Priestess, Judgment. And you guys, you can't stand it. I feel like you can't stand it anymore. I feel like you're wanting to say something. Spirit, what do they need to say? The Moon in Reverse. Strength. I think, I think you're ready to come out and say it. That you're a lot stronger than than they thought you were. These people were projecting onto you like that you're kind of weak, very feminine. Uh, they, they were trying to convince everyone you're a feminized, very feminized man, which isn't, again, it's not a bad thing, guys. But with the Empress here and the moon in reverse, this is like emasculated, is that the word? Yeah, emasculated man. That's what I'm getting. That you're not strong at all. Seven of Pentacles. That you're not strong and you'll never... Yeah, the emperor, exactly, exactly, that you're never going to boss up and you're never going to say anything. So, I don't know, guys, what are you going to say? Purpose. I know what I'm here to do. I feel like you have this overwhelming urge to start just laying it out and saying shit. It might not even mean, make sense what you want to say, but you just want to say it really loud. I heard the name Mark. Fear. Ooh. I realize that I'm testing the resolve to live in the energy of love, you guys. You guys don't fear that you're going to regret anything. Like, you're not, you're not, you're not. I think that you're just going to overcome fear and tell these people, like, listen, this is horseshit. You're treating these people really badly. What I'm hearing is, like, who died made you God? Divine Masculine, you're going to step up to this, whoever this Hierophant is, and you're going to say, like, who died made you God? Three of Wands. I feel like you're turning your back on this this Emperor or this Hierophant, but I am kind of getting like, it's going to be slow. It's going to be like, you're just dipping your toe. You're like challenging authority one time and then like you pull back a little bit and then you'll challenge them again and then pull back a little bit and challenge them. It's not like an overnight thing. Temperance. No, it's moderate. It's peaceful. It's, it's slow but steady. Okay. Again, Sagittarius energy. There it is. Eight of Cups, you are walking away from this group, but it's almost like spirit needs to use you for five minutes and that's it. And then tomorrow it'll be six minutes and then the next day it'll be 10 minutes. It's, it's very slow. It's not like you're just gonna go from just being like very docile and you know. And again, that's actually what fluoride does. I don't know if you guys know that, but fluoride in the water actually really makes people docile. So they don't 
fight back. They don't say what they really want to say. They, it makes people very, um, mm, you know, just malleable. So that's what I see here is happening in this group. And Divine Masculine, I see you about ready to step the fuck up and say something. Okay. But look, it's like Spirit is just saying, like, just say, all right, you're going to feel this urge. It's like, say it. Say it when you're ready. Say it when you're ready, not a moment too soon. Just open your mouth and we'll talk through you. Like, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting like Spirit is about to channel through you. And it's like, you don't need to know what you're going to say. 